All right, guys, we're here with uh, Sonia. Hey, guys. We're going to be going over to the Stevo One Canevo meetup at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Here we go. <laughs> here at Opelok, we have information golf, so we'll check in and get our IFR clearance. Opelok at ground, November 851 Tango Bravo, over at Signature with golf, we're going to pick up our IFR. November 851 Tango Bravo, Opelok at ground, clear to the FXC airport via radar vectors, maintain 2,000, expect 4,000, ones are minutes after departure, departure frequency 128.6, squawk 4576. Cleared over to Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport, radar vectors will maintain 2,000, expect 4,000, 10 minutes after that, 28.6 on departure frequency, and 4.5.7.6 in the box, ready for one Tango Bravo. Number one Tango Bravo, read that correct. And we're ready to taxi over at spot three, uh, with information golf, ready for one Tango Bravo. Number one Tango Bravo, runway 27 right, taxi Papa, November 8. Papa, November 8 to 27 right, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we got one our Tango Bravo, hold short of November 8 and remain on this frequency, coordinating the release. Roger, we'll hold short of November 8 and wait with you for one Tango Bravo. All right, we gave him a flick, flick of the uh, taxi light to let him know we're ready to taxi here. We got our taxi instructions. Welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, today we have on board Sonia. Sonia, nice to Hello have everyone. you back. We're going to ditch her, uh, her nickname that I've given her a long time ago. So, for now on, it's either Dr. Sonia or Sonia. Do you like that better? I like the second one, Sonia. Okay, we'll go with Sonia. Tango Bravo, we have a release. Uh, just follow the jet off your left side. Go ahead and contact tower. Good day. Oh, follow that jet and uh, over tower. Thanks for your help. One Tango Bravo. Look after five three. All right, so we they have a release for down. departure. We have this jet over here. Uh, it's like a Challenger off our left side. Let me do some work here. We were told to follow him, so we'll just round the bend here. Zero, zero, here and, uh, I don't know what that means. He will most likely be first in line to take Let off. me work on my radio. I'll get back. Roger. Look, sounds like that helicopter's having an issue with his radio. Sure, stay Bravo, off a turn left, kind of ground. Oh, we'll just pull up right here, and we'll wait right here. Attention for that jet over here, go first. Like like a tower, Roger, continue inbound. There'll be one departure prior, prior to your arrival. Delta November. Okay. So jet 406, fly heading, uh, or correction, turn right heading 300, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. 300 heading, clear for takeoff 27 right, exo jet 406. All right, Exo Jet has been cleared for his takeoff. Runway, runway we are now right pull up here. We'll be number one for uh, takeoff. You never want to get too close to the back of some of these jets because when they get cleared for takeoff, they'll give it a boost of power and you'll get a lot of their jet blasts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Runway 27 right. Traffic is departing runway 27 right at Challenger. Good morning, Opal Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo, holding short at 27 right. November 851 Tango Bravo, Opal Tower, Roger, landing traffic. So how has Sonya been? Uh, she's been really busy. Too busy. 
Work it a lot. Working a lot. Uh, Continue yeah. inbound runway 27 right. I think we're just going to be waiting here for this citation to land, and then most likely we'll get approved for our takeoff right after he gets cleared. Well, rate is landing. Sky, we got a crosswind from the right today. And it looks like a nice. good, good landing. Nice. Over for Bravo. Extend down one runway 27 right. I'll call your base. Okay, you'll call the base today down the way in 27 right. It's always fun right. when you're holding short to watch the airplanes landing and, you know, Give them a rating on their landing. <laughs> Funny thing is that I always think of who's watching while I'm landing. Oh yeah. yeah. They can make some pilots nervous. TBM eight five one Tango Bravo, turn right heading three zero zero runway two seven right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff two seven right. We'll turn right to three zero zero on the heading for eight five one Tango Bravo. All right, we're good to go. Clear for takeoff here. That's the one three 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 Echo runway two seven left. Clear on the left and on the right. Two seven left, clear to the left, clear to the Echo. Thank you. So on this departure, we were given a uh, turn right to 300 on the uh, departure. All right, so we're lining up here on 27 right. We've got a right cross window, so we'll put that correction in there. We'll use the power up for takeoff power, and it is set. Now I'm going to glance down. Little temperatures and pressures all look good, and they're normal. This is where I go back out, and then I you know, watch the road. Trailblazer 845, runway 27 right, clear to land. And there's a rotation Land, speed. 27 right, Trailblazer 845. Oh, we're light today too, so. Put gear up. I'm gonna push on the rudder pedals on the top of them to push on the brakes to stop the wheels from spinning. We're also gonna go flaps up, yaw damper on, and we're gonna start our right turn to 300. Yeah, when you're, not, when you're light, it comes right off that runway real easy compared to when you're heavier. No go, autopilot on, and I yes, it's mode. Sir Toga, 73 Bravo, traffic ahead and to your right. Now the autopilot's flying the airplane. Uh, we can sit back and relax. Final runway 27 right, report him in sight. Have the traffic in sight. So much smoother than the Skyhawk. Remember, 73 Sky Bravo, Hawk. follow that traffic. Yeah, is it? Yeah. We'll follow up, 73 Bravo. One TV and one Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure. Over departure, one Tango Bravo, have a good day. Good day. All right, we'll three check on with Miami zero, departure uh, here. Heading through four zero two thousand. Good morning, Miami. 851 Tango Bravo with you 1,600 for 2,000. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami departure. Roger, ready to contact. Sonia's gonna get some good pictures here today. And videos. And videos, huh? November 1 Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 3,000. Up to 3,000, 851 Tango Bravo. November 8, I'm sorry, November 9273 Bravo, you're on so today we're going to be flying IFR over to uh, Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. We're going to be going to the Stevo One Canivo meetup, which uh, Banyan Pilot Shop in Bose was very nice to put for us. And uh, we're going to be giving a lot of cool prizes away today. I'm going to give a cool Bose prize package out to one of the viewers. So it should be exciting to meet the you know the viewers of the channel. Now we're running a little late, Sonia, so we're going to go into 850 mode. Up and over the gate with the uh, flap lever. Now we can advance the torque. We go a lot faster. We gotta make up some time. So guys, at the end of this month, if all goes as planned, I'm going to be getting my CFI. I'm gonna become a certified flight instructor, Sonia. I cannot wait. And I hear that you are going to be wanting to finish off and get your pilot pilot's license, correct? That's correct. So what I'm gonna do for you, Sonia, is when I get my CFI, I'm gonna, I'll take over and be your instructor if you think that'd be cool. I can't wait. So exciting. But yeah, at the end of this month, uh, we're going to get Sonia her private pilot license. And we'll film the process. How's that sound? Okay, that's the perfect part. That'll be fun. Because I get to review it afterwards and go over my mistakes. And hopefully, and we have it on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. So other people can watch. Hopefully, I'm a good instructor. I really don't know if I am or not. So we'll see how that goes. So we're coming out over the uh, Florida Everglades here. It's a nice day. A little bumpy down low here. Number six, Lima, Sierra, uh, if you were to have any engine trouble out here, you're going to either have to deal with a lot of alligators or big pythons. Lima, Sierra, right head, right turn, heading 360. That's what's all down below us right now. Number one, Tango Bravo, turn right, heading 360. Right 360, right five, one, Tango Bravo. Clear to the right. Miami approach, good morning, November 770, my Charlie, over the shoreline, 300. Flying IFR is actually a lot easier than people think. Because basically you're just going off what they're telling you to do. Roger. Uh, you don't have to worry about really getting in trouble. You know, you go, you go with their instructions. Three Lima Sierra additional traffic at your one o'clock and two and, uh, miles, same direction. It's really a lot easier than most people make it out to be. Uh, looking for traffic. Even though, yeah.
controllers will tell you to do stuff, though. You so always you double check you. what they're telling you to do because you controllers can make mistakes, too. Sure. Number one, Tango Bravo, contact Miami Approach 119.7. Good day. 19.7, one Tango Bravo. Have a good day. Miami, good morning. November 85, one Tango Bravo to 3,360 heading. 85, one Tango Bravo, Miami Approach, information uniform, current in Fort Lardo. Executive, expect the visual approach to runway 27. Roger, we'll be getting uniform here for 85 Montana Bravo. We'll Landing get... runway 27, holding yeah. short, runway 31. Beta start at Fort Lauderdale. Landing runway 31, holding short, runway 27, 3,250 feet available. Notice the airman, use caution for birds. Irregular surface taxiway Quebec between taxiway Alpha and Echo. Flag crane, 0.5 nautical miles north, northeast, approach N, runway 13, 130 feet AGL. All fixed wing aircraft, contact clearance delivery 127.9 or 5 prior to taxi. All aircraft are required to read back runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact, you have ATIS information uniform. All right, we got information uniform there at Fort Lauderdale. And we'll let Miami know that we got the current airport information. Miami 851 Tango Bravo, we have information uniform. One Tango Bravo, thank you. So basically, by doing that, uh, you're just letting the controller know that you have the most current information at the airport that we're going to be landing at. Tony, do you like my shirt? I got uh, I just got these new Steve O'Connor shirts. So, tell me, is that the very first one? Yeah, uh, I just got a whole bunch of them. From, when are, when I got, am I going to get one? Uh, actually, I got one in the back of the plane for you. Oh, nice. Okay. I got four different colors. So, uh, anybody, uh, any of the viewers, if you were wanting to go uh, pick one up, you can go over to steveo1canevo.com and at the top you'll see the shop uh, tab for my shop. You can go shopping. We're also giving away a Bose A20 this month for our uh, Aviation's biggest monthly contest. So anybody that wants to go I over there. I definitely need to participate. I know, right? That's a good prize right there, getting a brand new Bose H20. But yeah, uh, if you go to the uh, steveo1canevo.com, you can see the contest link there too. To, there's many different ways you can enter into that. Yeah, out here you're gonna have a lot of practice areas. A lot of people come out here and practice in these practice areas in South Florida. That's where you come out to do your maneuvers. When I learned how to fly, this is where I actually came out. It was out to these areas with my instructors. That's actually where I've been doing my maneuvers. Oh, have you? Yeah. Yeah, Sonia, it's going to be a lot of fun. I really look forward to me and you going up and flying around, and uh, you know we're going to have a good time as we learn, you know, teach you how to fly. I am very excited, and I really can't wait. And then, you know, it's going to be fun. It, it, it's going to give me one thing to look forward to, exactly. you know, any of the month. And you know what's going to be fun? Is I'm going to sit over there, and I can't wait for you to fly me around. True. Yeah, That's I didn't be. think of it that way. <laughs> yeah, the wind's variable at 6. I think it's going to be out of the uh, north, the wind here. So we're going to have a right crosswind on this landing. What fun would it be if it was right down the runway? If anybody has noticed, if you can see in the camera here, this inertial separator light is what you see right here. And that's just showing you that we have it on, which bypasses the a lot of the air that goes into the intake. It doesn't all go into the engine. That way, if you ingest anything, it just kind of kicks it back out instead of putting it in your engine. You usually have that when you're down low. One Tango Bravo, flying 080. 080, and we got four auto executive in sight, one Tango Bravo. All right, we're back over the populated area of Florida. All right, we're coming up on Fort Lauderdale Beach, Number actually. Seven, go to we're up by Pompano Beach. On mile west of Fort Lauderdale. Pompano Airport, right below us. Pompano yeah, Airport, right down there below us. On course, Boca, Roger. Seven, go here. All right, I got the approach all briefed here for two RNAV 27. Right. Traffic, traffic. All right, we got another traffic alert here, 500 feet. You see him over there at our 2 o'clock? 400 feet, right over here. The hell, it's a Cessna, right there. You see him at one o'clock? I can't, yep, I, I can't I, we're I, IFR, I can't believe they're not giving us the traffic alerts over the uh, ATC here. I think they're, uh, I mean, that guy's close. Yeah, they're very close. I don't know, see, that's why you don't always trust controllers. As much as they are here to help one you. One Tango Bravo, reduce speed to 170. Reducing to 170 knots, one Tango Bravo. Alright, so we're going to pull the power back here. We were going 210 knots, a little over that. We'll be getting a speed reduction to 170 knots. November 1 Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 2000, flight 140. Now 2000, 140 on the heading, 1 Tango Bravo. Number 8 Delta Sierra, climb to your request altitude. Alright. Climb to request altitude. Notice how it smoothed out once we got over the, uh, the water? Yeah. That's what's nice about flying over the ocean, is uh, usually it's not so bumpy compared to flying over land. When you're over land, you get a lot of the different thermals. Uh, seven Gulf Sierra, the mall, sir. Roger that. One Tango Bravo, right. fighting 240, advised Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport Insight. 
240 in the heading, and we do have the field in sight for 1 Tango Bravo. Number 1 Tango Bravo, cleared visual approach, runway 27. Clear for the visual, runway 27 for 85 1 Tango Bravo, thanks. Jet 141, traffic no factor. Alright, so heading, we're not going to do any R nav, we'll just get the visual in here. We're back at, uh, Thank you. back it down to 170 knots. Number 1 Tango Bravo, connect Fort Lauderdale Executive, tower 120.9. 20.9, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Hey, Executive Tower, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo with you on the visual for 27. November 851 Tango Bravo, Executive Tower, traffic departing prior to your arrival, runway 27, clear to land, wind 340 at 6. Right, clear to land, runway 27, thanks, 851 Tango Bravo. It's kind of weird coming in here when I always come into this airport with the TBM because this is where I always fly the caravans out of, so huh. I recognize all Trailblazer these controllers very well. Parking. All their voices. Opinion air service. Trailblazer 485 continues through the runway intersection, turn left on the other side, contact ground. Alright, so we got rid of the autopilot. We'll have a little fun hand flying it in. So let's get some cool pictures of the beach over there. Short Beautiful day out there. It's a Saturday today. At one zero so we've got a fair amount of people on the beach over here to the left. Stay tight, Cessna. This is a Cessna a real cool spot right down there is called Waterdale by the Sea. It's one of my favorite spots to go hang out. They got good restaurants down there and a couple nice bars. Hey, we're in our flap speed, so we'll first notch the flaps. November 86 Tango, remain outside Charlie Airspace. Are you going to continue westbound we'll or are you going to go southwest? Uh, going to continue westbound 86 Tango. Number 86 Tango, roger. Now we just got to slow it up. Right now we're doing 125. We just have to slow it up under 122 knots to be able to go to full flaps. Number 816, go for the TVM here. Right, so we're under the uh, full flap speed on, for our indicator well, speed. So put the flaps down. And we're also going to look at the indicator. Even though you put it, select it, you always want to make sure it is indicated. All right, so I'm going to be pitching for 90 knots here. 500. There are 500 feet above the ground, call up. We're right on our proper glide path here. And we're looking pretty good on our speed. And I'm going to disconnect. I always keep the yaw damper on a little longer just to, for a more comfortable November ride. Now I'm going to disconnect it so I can utilize the rudder base. pedals runway for our landing. Three one. Runway 31, clear to land, hold short of runway 27. If you were to forget to turn off the yaw damper, it would be, it'd be really hard to try to control with your rudder pedals because the, the airplane is trying to do that for you. Number 04 uniform, runway 31, clear to land, hold short runway 27 for arriving and departing traffic. Clear to land, runway 31, hold short to 7, zero for uniform. They just renumbered these runways. It used to be uh, 826, but the, the way the uh, Earth is changing, it's now renamed numbered runway 279. All right, so we'll go back to flight idle. And we're going to go into our flare here. There we go. I, I have been using that trick, looking at TM the end of the runway. Tango Bravo, stay parking. It works. So we're going over to the Banyan for 85 Tango Bravo. Number one, Tango Bravo, turn left. When able, contact ground point seven five off from my expedite to the next intersection. Roger, we'll expedite here and turn left on golf and go over to ground for eight five one Tango Bravo. Eight, nine, or eight, six, nine, yeah, expedite a lot of people forget when you're trying to land. Two, seven, cleared for you off, right as you're in your flare, miles, final turn area. your attention all the way down to the very far end of the runway and just kind of keep your eyes peeled down to the far end, and it really it gives you a good sense of when to you're going to want to flare and touch down. All right, so we're going to expedite off here, go over to ground. Executive ground, November 851 Tango Bravo, clear of 27 on golf, and you can go to Banyan. November 851 Tango Bravo, executive ground, taxi via golf, November, hold short, runway 31. Golf, November, and we're going to hold short at 31 for 851 Tango Bravo. So we're on golf, we've been turn, told to turn right here in November, and we're going to hold short at runway 31. Runway 51 Tango Bravo, cross runway 31. And cross one, runway 31 for 851 Tango Bravo. And then right out there in front of us is where Banyan is. We're across 31 here, we're cleared to the left and to the right. Nobody is landing on the runway. Banyan is, got, is a really cool FBO. It's one of my favorites of anywhere I go. The staff there is really nice. And, uh, you know, it's been a big part of my career, though. Basically, the whole, my whole career. All right, everybody, we welcome to Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. We hope you enjoyed that short little IFR flight with us. Uh, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And if you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe down there. Sonia, it was awesome to have you on board. Thank you for having me here. I can't Thank wait you for, for flying us here. I can't wait for me to get my CFI ring, and then we're going to get you I up in I can't wait either. 
Big thank you to all the sponsors and the patrons of this channel. We appreciate it. We're going right down the gauntlet here. Look at all these guys. These guys are cool. Like I said, Banyan is a cool FBO. Sentinel aircraft, Fort Lauderdale, executive aid information, Victor. There he's marshalling us in here, parking us right here. Nice little spot for us. All right, guys. Thanks again for riding along, and we'll talk to you again someday soon. Studios video. Follow me. up with the uh, meet and greet here at Banyan. Sonia, did you have fun? It was great. It was a big turnout and it was exciting. I met a lot of pilots. That's awesome. That's always the best part. So everybody that stopped by, thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you guys soon. Ready for the ride? Ready for the ride. Oh, it helps if I put it in gear. <laughs> 